The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Many of the Jews who had come to Mary and seen what Jesus had done began to believe in him. But some of them went to the Pharisees and told them what Jesus had done. So the chief priests and the Pharisees convened the Sanhedrin and said, What are we going to do? This man performs many signs. If we leave him alone, all will believe in him, and the Romans will come and take away both our land and our nation. But one of them, Caiaphas, who was the high priest that year, said to them, You know nothing, nor do you consider that it is better for you that one man should die instead of the people, so that the whole nation may not perish. He did not say this on his own, but since he was high priest for that year, he prophesied that Jesus was going to die for the nation, and not only for the nation, but also to gather into one the dispersed children of God. So from that day on, they planned to kill him. So Jesus no longer walked about in public among the Jews, but he left for the region near the desert to a town called Ephraim, and there he remained with his disciples. Now the Passover of the Jews was near, and many went up from that country to Jerusalem before the Passover to purify themselves. They looked for Jesus and said to one another, as they were in the temple area, What do you think, that he will not come to the feast? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We can tell we're pretty close to Holy Week now because of the appearance of the figure of Caiaphas, the high priest, and his meeting with the other religious leaders as they begin to plot the death of Jesus. His words bring down the ages when he says, It is better for you that one man should die instead of the people, so that the whole nation may not perish. Even in the Gospel of John, we just heard following those words, the Gospel writer John interprets that passage as has been interpreted by our Catholic Christian tradition that indeed that is true that it is better that one man should die for the nation that one man of course being Jesus whose divinity makes it possible that his dying for us and the whole nation is a saving action rather than just another meaningless death. An interesting Flemish artist from the 17th century Matthias Stone depicted the scene of Jesus before Caiaphas. This is, of course, later in the Gospel of John. But this uh, Flemish artist, who very much uh, followed the example and the influence of the great Italian artist uh, Caravaggio, depicts that later meeting between Jesus and Caiaphas in relation to this first reference to Caiaphas in the Gospels. I want you to take a look at that painting. There it is. Okay, so we can see on the left Caiaphas and the figure of Jesus there on the right with his hands humbly folded before him. Notice the significant finger of Caiaphas on the left and that of course is recognizing his words that we heard in today's gospel. It's better that one man should die. But the um, artist Stone chooses to have the finger pointing upward suggesting that what Jesus is doing is according to the Heavenly Father's will. Notice the, the image of light in the background, Jesus, the light of the world. So that artist uh, gives us an opportunity to reflect on the figure of Caiaphas. And I would suggest two things that we can reflect upon with his words, it's better that one should die for the whole nation. First of all, the human instinct to use other people for our purpose. So in the case of Caiaphas, he's ready to use Jesus to save the nation. And our gospel tradition reminds us that we are in general not to use other people for our own ends, but instead to give ourselves like the example of Jesus. Secondly, the figure of Jesus is indeed the single man who is worthy to give his life for the whole nation. This next week, as we gather in our homes and consider the saving path of Jesus to Calvary and then to the resurrection, let's examine our own conscience and our relationships in our lives and ask the Spirit to help us see if there are times when we try to use others for our own ends. 
And then secondly, let us give thanks that the Father sent the Son to be that means for each of us to the end, which is the gift of eternal life. God bless you all. We'll talk to you many times during this Holy Week.